Metal Chef Mad Max here again. Love my people. A new thing, new toy. I will introduce it later on, okay? Pretty cool. Can't stick organic pen. Uh, <coughs> I realized I didn't use all my egg wash from the first episode today, so in breadcrumbs, so I said, why waste it? I got some prep to do, so I show you quick and really cool recipe uh, which fits the busy lifestyle of lifestyle lifestyles of people, and they can uh, prep up some stuff and get ready for next day or whatever you know week or month uh, because it's we're gonna be f making frozen dinners, not from the bay, a box full of sodium and bullshit. It's going to be Mad Max way. Rockstar way, delicious, lean, healthy, fast, and with lots of punch and love. Okay, let's go do it. I realize I got a bunch of basil on my fridge. It started getting a little bit discolored, still good, but you know, got only maybe day or two of life. So I added to my machine and tons and tons of. This is garlic. A few pinches of sea salt. And of course, we cannot forget the Craig Black. And get that rolling, we got that rolling, get that rolling around. So it's nice and delicious. And I said, eh, let's go get one pinch of the chili flakes so bring up the flavor and another secret ingredients I'm gonna get not toothpaste again I told you guys so many times please it's not toothpaste a little bit of anchovy paste not too much but a little bit one squirt of the anchovy paste goes in and oh, I got four tablespoons of the Detroit River water. We got here in this city, uh, and we're gonna rock it up. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Let's go use the spatula to get the stuff or incorporate it. Looks like it's not wet enough, so we're gonna add a little bit of water. I'm not adding any oil because I'm going, going to use this as a like a glue. chili flakes and garlic vapor, man. That's really good stuff. Alright, let's go put those babies to the sink. And machine goes to sleep for a second and let's go do it. When you guys hanging out, whatever, I took the really nice chicken breasts and I trim off the less fortunate pieces. We should keep, I will save it. And I will grind it up and they got a little bit fat, you know, so it will be good for a white chili or maybe some uh, chili taco uh, meat. Uh, you know, sometimes you need uh, fat, like I got uh, lots of fat, but what the hell. You know, I trim the chickens, I pound them, so they may be almost inch thick. They go in the bowl. We're going to do four of those babies. And again. Everything has to be seasoned. So a little bit, a little bit, but not that much. You know, I'm not a big fan of the salt. But we have to have it. it has to be well seasoned. So pepper. And okay, don't contaminate this little bugger with chicken juice. Because I'm gonna use it for 
some other purpose. I'm gonna infuse some oil. So that goes to the self safe place for a second. I'm back, I'm back, Laura, I'm back. And mixy, 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 my delicious basil garlic mixture. All right, that's done. Okay, smells good. Season enough, so let's go. I'm gonna taste it, yep. That's good enough. Okay, set it to the side. Meat time. Boom. My egg wash, I saved it from earlier. It was seasoned salt, pepper, breadcrumbs. A little bit more because I'll need some more. All right. And then I will need aluminum foil before. Just like this, okay? Hello! I hate when it's happen, but I saved this one to make myself a little pipe and I'm gonna smoke some green tea later on to calm it down. So we got four. Okay. Actually, get it. I'm gonna make one to show you. All right, we got uh, chicken breast season and ready to rock and roll egg wash. And don't be afraid, rub your belgil and everything you got, garlic all over the chicken. Goes to the breadcrumbs again. Many people like to use flour. The water with flour. No, I am strictly all about breadcrumbs. You can use the bread, the uh, panko breadcrumbs. Oh, sorry, fallen angels. And like this. All right, beautiful chicken schnitzel or uh, fillet encrusted with the basil pepper, chilies, and breadcrumbs and what we're gonna do is put it like this wrap it like this with the aluminum foil tightly 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 and guess what keep it flat goes in the freezer when you're ready to rock and down roll don't unfreeze it unwrap it a little bit mixture of oil and butter and a non-stick pan this guy goes in Saute it off, you get delicious uh, chicken schnitzel or whatever you want to fucking call it. And you know, you can put some uh, basic uh, marinara or bolognese sauce, a little bit uh, of uh, mozzarella, stick it in the and you got chicken parmigiano. Or just straight up like that. Hey, that's what I got. Keep on rock and rolling, keep life simple and delicious, and keep on watching me because I am your man. Metal Chef Mad Max. Love you people. Keep on rock and rolling. Keep on good to each other. And booyah! And shake it! <laughs>